Every day, over 500,000 trucks pollute the air of Southern California's communities with noxious chemicals like methane, carbon, and nitrous oxides, all proven to harm our health and contribute to the climate crisis. These chemicals can't be seen by the human eye, but with special camera equipment, the havoc they wreak comes to life. This is a bus which is just sitting and idling, getting ready to leave. And all the vapors that come out of that, we cannot see that. And this is what our trucks are doing. Southern California has the worst air quality in the nation because of gas and diesel trucks that carry our cargo in and out of the state. To make matters worse, the tanks that store their fuel have consistently been found to leak. We see storage tanks like this in the Inland Empire because we're the central hub of goods movement. It's just shocking because you can smell it in the air when you're around these things. Um, but seeing this with the infrared is just appalling and it just makes you think how many leaks are there. During this pandemic, goods movement and shipping companies like Amazon have seen huge profits and growth at the expense of communities that can't afford to move away and shouldn't have to. As more warehouses are built, the nearby communities are further pummeled by higher housing costs. I do believe that the same companies that are polluting the community out there are overworking and under folks. This pandemic has made it more clearer than ever the divide that folks who are really hurting and struggling have to keep on hurting and struggling for the sake of capital. Warehousing is a huge issue in San Bernardino because these big corporations and developers come into our poor communities to build up and take advantage because we need money. They come here, they do us dirty, and then they leave. With extreme growth and little regulation, the region has failed to meet the minimum federal clean air standards for 30 years. But there's a reason for optimism. The technology exists to transition away from these pollutants. And it is crucial that regulators require all warehouses to make that transition. The Air District is currently considering a rule to require all large warehouses to shift to cleaner technologies, like solar power for their warehouses and electric vehicle versions of their trucks. The South Coast Air Quality Management District has the responsibility and authority to help protect our community and clean up our air. The communities of Southern California cannot wait. A clean energy powered economy driven by good local union jobs is non-negotiable, and we need to act now.